gonna go and do some VR. Let's turn Junior back online. Welcome back, Lazius. Boot complete. Systems online. VR headset ready for deployment. By the way, I can detect that you have not passed your kidney stones. Reminder that you have a doctor's appointment at 8 o'clock. Please input your authentication password. Pass you some lunch. Yeah, that'd be great. Maybe a tomato sandwich would be nice. I'll be out in a short while. Password authenticated. Deploying the HP Reverb G2. Junior, I'm still trying to recover, but what VR app do you recommend? May I suggest to test out the newly released Season 2 of Population 1? According to VR Focus, the content rollout will feature two major additions, a new themed location, and a player expansion. Season 2, The Frontier will provide a brand new Western-themed map destination so teams can have their own Wild West shootouts. It will also be expanding the number of players in one match from 18 up to 24 and players can become a dual-wielding gunslinger with the brand new Matadors in VR. Mammoth controller grips are pretty good. Junior, remind me to upload the review video. HP Reverb G2 controllers online. Alright Julia, let's load Steam VR. Then we'll go inside of Population 1 and try out Season 2. Loading Steam VR. SteamVR Online. Accessing Video Custom Graphic Settings. For this VR experience, I will turn on WMR Reprojection and level the super sampling to 100%. You'll be able to turn on maximum graphic settings in Population 1 and run at 90Hz without any problems. If you want to learn more about reprojection, please watch one of the previous videos. By the way, according to the WMR software, you seem to be running low on your HP Reverb G2 controller batteries. Stand by, deploying Population 1. Alright, we're inside of Season 2. This is very exciting. Julia, tell me, what's new inside of the menu? Do you see the icon on the top right hand side? The double day there, 100% bonus XP for today. Okay, awesome. We better take advantage of that. What else is new? New information on the left. Yep, I see it. Oh, so it tells me Season 2, The Frontier on the left-hand side. Okay, but it ends on the 21st of July, so that's very soon. We better do as much as uh, gameplay as possible, I guess. And the weekly challenges as well are all new, so we can take a look at these a bit later on. What else is new? The Battle Pass icon at the bottom. Yep, I see it. Oh, okay, the Battle Pass with the Cactus icon there. All right, let me click on it. So we can get a whole bunch of different things if we get the battle pass. I guess we could do this again. We'll do this a bit later on. We'll experiment. And of course, we'd have to upload some credits, I would imagine. Yes, that is correct. Cool. Let's go to the loadout and just see what else is new in here. So I guess in terms of the costumes, there is nothing new, right? It appears that the inventory is all standard at the moment. Weapons also. Calling cards. The titles and the sprays. Here there doesn't seem to be anything new, so I guess same as usual. And then for the shop? The devs often add new things, but it seems the same for now. I'm not sure if there's anything new in these sections, but maybe worth, you know, taking a look taking a look a little bit later on, maybe. Do you wish to be paired up? Um, I don't know if I want to be in a squad. I think at the moment I'm just going to go in, just experiment, and then we can see what's actually happening there. Uh, let's just take a look at our settings very quickly. So we set the game to Inferno, so no issues there, as you mentioned just before. And then also for the microphone, we're all good. We make sure that we're on the HP Reverb G2 microphone, so that's all good, all good, all good. All right, let's go back. Remember, for the G2, the mic needs to be reset before each battle, or the others won't hear you. Julia, is there any new things in terms of uh, playing? We have squads. It does not seem so. 
private rooms still okay for a limited time bottle but bottle bot battle combat trial and tutorial okay so nothing new in this respect here at the moment so let's just go for squads and then let's go stand by you will be transported into battle in just a moment look on your left that is the new area oh yeah i can see it wow it looks very interesting all right let's head out that way oh look there's a saloon bar The new Western map can be experienced in the bot battle private rooms and squad options. Oh, is this the new energy drink that everyone's been talking about? Yes, you just shake it until the blue energy bar is full. It will charge after that. There is also a new harmonica that charges your squad mates when you play it. Yeah, the devs have done a great job. It really brings a sense of camaraderie into the game, doesn't it? All right, let's go up this ladder. Good cardio. All right, let's go and check out one of the private rooms and see how it all works. Oh, the HP is doing a really great job in terms of the tracking. Definitely a great experience for the HP Reverb G2. There's so many survival skills that you can learn in this type of VR game. Now, as I mentioned, they kept it very simple. They only added very small amount of detail. For example, the cactus, all the chariots, and also some TNT barrels, which is pretty funny. If you know how to get the new characters, leave a comment below. The Population 1 community has grown quite extensively I must admit, there are some kids here and there, but mostly it's okay and it's very enjoyable. Remember to enable the bell notification icon after you sub so YouTube tells you when we upload new videos in your feed. The main downside using the HP Reverb G2 is to have to constantly reset the settings of the microphone every time we go inside of a new world, otherwise people won't be able to hear me. But the tracking, the gameplay, the loading is absolutely fine. Everything works really well. There are no glitches at any time. So really recommendable for the HP Reverb G2.